Welcome to the Center for Marketing Sales Innovation here at the Mooma College of Business at the University of South Florida. I'm Rob Hammond and I'm the director of the center. I've received a lot of questions around what did we learn from this biometric enabled debate watch party that we held back in February. You know, we had 30 plus students, faculty, staff, and friends watching the democratic debate live from Las Vegas and we connected up uh, sensors from Shimmer, our great partner, our technology partner here in the lab, and we were able to use galvanic skin response, measure the skin connectivity to take a look at how people were reacting to the debate. So what did we learn from that process? I wanted to share with you two screens. The first is a static image. This is a screenshot of what the dashboard looks like that we were looking at while the debate was taking place. You'll see down here in the left-hand corner is this webcam that was looking at what was happening on the screen. That way we capture everything that's going on live during the debate. If there's an interruption in the feed of some kind, then we'll be able to synchronize that to the responses. Here on the right-hand side is a detailed view of what we're looking at is an aggregate. So the bottom is the high responses, and then the gold color here is the high responses plus the medium responses. So this is a total response. And the, the time goes from the right going back this way. So it, right in this period of time was when we had the exchange between Elizabeth Warren and Michael Bloomberg about the not disclosure agreements. I have a video of that that's gonna come right after this. So up here in this top corner, we have a real-time view of a pie chart. Uh, the blue is the non-responses, and then again, the gold and the red colors are the medium and highs. Similarly, we can look at the individuals and how they're re reporting. Uh, these are individual sensors. And then here we have more detail on each one of the individual sensors. It's important to note as you look at these numbers that it's not an, a universal high and low ranking. It's actually based upon each individual. And you're looking at not only the intensity of the response, but also the trend in terms of the inflection points. So the next screen I'm gonna show you is actually a video of the Elizabeth Warren and Michael Bloomberg exchange. It was one of the high points of the debate. Really interesting is to take a look at what was happening with the responses while Elizabeth Warren was talking. And then when we see the big moment was when Michael Bloomberg had to respond. So Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. Uh, how many Let is me that? finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke I told. And let me just put, and let me put, there's a be agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet, and that's up to them. They signed those agreements. So, so what did we learn? We learned that we could monitor a large group of people for an extended period of time, in our case, over 30 people for two hours, and capture the real-time biometric data. We were able to monitor then objectively whether or not people were responding to events that were occurring during the debate. We were also able to take pre and post debate surveys and marry that data together with the biometric information to be able to create insights in a very short order. Then we were able to take even deeper analysis and take a look at the political leanings and the demographic data that we've captured in the surveys and see what were the strongest points for particular candidates and as well how people reacted to those messages that the candidates were delivered. We also learned that this technology adds a very important capability for the researcher to look at large groups in real-time events. I'm Rob Hammond with the Center for Marketing and Sales Innovation here at the University of South Florida Mooma College of Business. Thanks for watching.